Now we move on to the very important part of the design school and this is premises of the design school. Premises means underlying assumptions or reasons of a particular school. Actually, these points we are going to have now will actually lay foundation for the design school of strategic management. Now let's take each premise one by one and try to understand it. Number one, the first premise is strategy formation should be a deliberate process of conscious thought. There are two things to be considered. Under the design school, it is believed that the strategy is a deliberate process. So there is no room in this school for the emergent strategy, no for undeliberate strategy. So in the school, number one strategy is well thought. It is intended and it is thoughtfully created. Number two, it is conscious thought. Conscious thought means you are doing it willfully. You are doing it with predetermination and doing it with uh, planning in hand with something pre-considered. So the first premise, if the planning of the design school is that the strategy is form formed deliberately and it is the result of a conscious thought. Number two, the second premise is responsibility for that control and consciousness must rest with the CEO. Actually, to an extent you will feel even as we move further with the discussions of the designs and the schools, you will find out that that the design school is firmly actually believing in the one man's control, in the one man's role in the strategy development. So its second premise or the second assumption is this that the strategy is the responsibility of the chief executive officer of the organization. So this is he's the sole person in the organization who is to conceive and then formulate and then implement the strategy in the organization. Now we move on to the third premise. Third premise is the mode of strategy formation must be kept simple and informal. This is a very important point to ponder on, to consider that in design school, it is assumed that the strategy formation must be kept simple and informal. Two things are important, simplicity and informality. Why? Simplicity, because it should be kept simple so that it could be understandable for others in the organization in the implementation stage. Because you have noted in the overview, in design school, strategy is formed in one level or in one step and it is implemented in the second step. If it is difficult, it would not be understandable for others. They would not be able to put it to practice. So it should be simple and it should be informal. Informal means that there should be a design behind it but no hardcore formalities involved in this school. Number three, third premise is strategies should be one of a kind. The best one result from a process of individualized design. This is an important point. I would repeat it. Strategies should be one of a kind. One of a kind. Mean unique in the sense. The best one result from a process of individualized design. The design school believes that strategy is unique and it is uniquely developed for each case. So strategy development in the design school is unique and it, it varies from case to case. Fifth premise is the design process is complete when strategies are fully formulated as perspective. I mean the design process is complete. When it is complete, when strategies are fully formulated as perspective, you remember, I believe, the strategy as a perspective. As a perspective mean as a worldview, as a thought, as a guiding thought. So in the design school, when the strategy has reached to a level that it has become the worldview of the organization or its people, then the strategy is complete. And as a mental process, it is complete. Sixth is, these strategies should be explicit. So they have to be kept simple. The sixth one actually relates with a, another previous premise which was concerned with simplicity and informality. That it, it demands that or it presumes that the strategy should be explicit. Mean explicit mean it should be obvious so that it could be kept simple and understandable for others for implementation. 
the last premise of the design school is this that only after this unique full blow explicit and simple strategies are fully formulated can they be implemented i just mentioned during the overview of the design school that it is the basic assumption or premise of the design school that strategies will be developed at one stage at one level and then once these are fully developed fully blown explicit and understandable for others then these are handed over to others for implementation thank you very much